We're now looking toward Paulding. And as we pan on around here, we have a tractor owned by Harlan Riggenbaugh, a 1936 AC. The owner's around here someplace. Oh, Harlan, you want to come over here and start this tractor for us? Tractor's owned by Harlan Riggenbaugh, and he's going to try starting it for us. I don't think it's going to start, but we'll try it anyway. Okay, Harlan. Here we are. See if, we'll, see if we'll start again, Harlan. There, hey, that's great. Perfect tune. How long have you uh, owned this, Harlan? It's uh, about uh, six years. I see. You restored it yourself? It's a nice looking tractor. We have the binder out here now. You have to take the wheels off and okay. turn them around in order to turn the binder around to make it go in order to cut the grain. Right, so now they're putting the uh, uh, wheels hitch on, huh? On. Yeah, they've taken the drive wheels off and putting the hitch on. Okay, and, and the gentleman there by the binder right there in the plaid shirt is. I'm not sure. I'll have to ask John. Okay. So, Jim, what are you doing here? Well, we're just putting the tongue on the binder to, and hooking up the carrier on the back to catch the bundles. Okay. And and the need a screwdriver, too. We have Virginia Paulus here. She's going to be our official narrator tonight. She's the gal who knows it all. Don't say things <laughs> like that. Well, I mean, who knows everything, not no knows it all. Way. John Stewart's the chairman of this, and this was one of his babies. And he's the one and in the white shirt and, there. He and, and Anita Burt. Anita should be the one that's uh, narrating and, here because she's chairman of the activities this year. And Anita's back over there, isn't she? Yeah, we'll get her out here in just okay. a minute. Okay. Anita? Huh? Come here, ma'am. Well, we have the official photographer here. Now we can go, can't we, Doc? And they say you're the person in charge here. Is that oh, right? I'm Anita? not the person in charge. I'm the supervisor. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Here, Don. I'm uh, the oil can. You put some oil around that. <laughs> Secretary of Treasury. Here, Jim, I'll let you put some oil around on that. He's going to run me down the harvest. I'll get the truck. Oh, okay. I see we're getting all the chains oil up here. These things need oil just like the modern machines, don't they? The only thing here, everything's got oil cups on uh, machinery like this instead of grease fittings like the modern ones. That's quite a machine. We're acting here. What are you doing there, Jim? Justin, the real. Right over there. I bet that's happened, hasn't it, since uh, 
just doesn't want to slide too good here. Who owned this binder? Do you, do you, do you know any history of this binder? I have no idea about uh -huh. this binder here, no. Do you have any idea when it was last used, you know, as, on a regular basis? Well, you have to talk to John about that because uh, I just kind of volunteered my service for tonight. I see. I guess we're just about set to the tractor. Okay, it's all in adjustment, huh? Looks like we have some action here now. We've got this case from Harlan Riggenbaugh. Say it's an eight-foot cut, and where was a where was a binder bought, Virginia? Uh, they tell me that it was bought down at Dick Perry for sale. I and see. Last year, last year John got it in operating order, and they used it to some degree, but not much. And they did a uh, patch of wheat. I think it was over on his mother's place, and then they uh, thrashed it out behind his mother's barn. I and see. that's why he got anxious then to do it for the museum this year. So then now they're putting that uh, canvas up to the back. That's interesting. Well, here comes the tractor and binder. And this is the wheat field they're going to uh, shop. This is a uh, bearded wheat from Terra. And over there is, uh, I believe, cardinal wheat. Okay, here we come. adjustments to be made, I believe. Have a few technical problems here. Well, the knotter didn't trip on that, John tells me. Uh, you say what did not trip? The knotter. The, I see. It didn't trip on it, and therefore, why well, we didn't get a sheaf out, and it all came out at once, and it's not tied up. Yes. And it looks like we have a mess. Yeah. The heads are all supposed to be one way. I see. There. You got your picture, Doc? Huh? You taking a picture of this? Oh, sure. <laughs> Have to. Yep. Yep. I'll let you get back on it. I'll get down in here and get a picture of that. Uh, Help right. here. Uh -oh. Hello, Ray. Did you come to come to shock some oats? You're, you're 
big funnel. It's in there. It looks it. Adjustments. The cardinal wheat now. We hope this goes better than the bearded. Okay, this is the fourth round. Then we'll get out of the way of the track. Delora Sprayheart and Bill Fast are shocking wheat. They've, Ray tells me that in his day they had nine sheaves to a shock. You notice they've got eight down below, eight down below, and then you put one or two on top and you fold them down like Ray's doing right now, and that goes up on the top in order to deter the rain. And then he, as he says, now let it rain. Nine of them. Okay. 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 
you're going to have to watch John's getting out where he belongs this time. Okay. Green light, please. Ray says it's nine down and a topper. So we'll see what he says on this one now. He's changing his method of shocking. But it's nine sheaves down and one on top. And he and Bill Fast are having a ball out there. It's a nice evening and the breeze is blowing and the bugs aren't too bad yet. In fact, Ray just commented that there's no mosquitoes moved in and the breeze must be keeping them away. Good. Now there goes the top. The wheat's not staying together in the sheaf very well because we have a that's the cap, as, Char as Bill says. Ray's going to put two on in case it rains. <laughs> going to storm hard. Yeah. 